Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for taking the time to be with me. Um, I hope everyone's having a blessed day. So my project share for today is a hardcover journal. And um, I don't call them junk journals because I don't use extra scraps. Um, I do use envelopes, but they're new. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like the word junk because... I don't know. I'm not using any junk. I'm using brand new papers and stuff. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I should say junk journal because it's, I don't know. Anyway, so the paper I'm using is Stamperia um, uh, Around the World. And I have just enough left over to make one signature uh, by itself, <clears throat> not a hardcover. And... Um, also inside, I bought this years ago from Hobby Lobby for $5, I think it was Hobby Lobby, and it's just different uh, paper, um, so that I thought it went well, um, so my sister went to Paris, and I'm going to give this to her when I see her in about a month, so here it is, is um, I had to add lace so that it would be a little bit more feminine, because um, it wasn't as much, um, but I love the paper. So I just have ribbon tied around it, and it's a hard cover. Um, I don't even remember the size. I use the 12 by 12. So it is 9 by 6 and a half, and it is 2 inch uh, spine. So here's what it looks like. It's got two signatures. There's the back. There's the side. Um, so I'm going to walk you through it. This is really the first time I made a hardcover journal. Normally I just make uh, the cardstock with the heavy duty cardstock paper. So here we go. Only one sheet of paper other than what I just showed you from Hobby Lobby I had in my stash and I printed. Um, because uh, with with Stamperia, you know you don't get, you know, 40 sheets. I think you only get 10 to 12. So I made a glycine bag. And this is the paper right here that I printed. And then I put a lot of ink on it to uh, tone it down. But um, here's a glycine bag I made. And uh, I don't even know if I have anything in it. Nope. Uh, inside is the waxy pack. And so there's that. And here is some sorry silk. And this was sorry silk actually. And I just um, tried to coordinate and match. So I'm going to go pretty fast, I hope. So here is the one signature. And it's heavy cardstock. Here's that paper. Here is um, some postcards that came in the kit. Um, <clears throat> I made this snippet paper and put it on backing of a cardstock and glued it there for a pocket. The lace and then the lace became um, a tuck spot and then the paper is printed. It is uh, their paper. I just stuck the paper right on my copier and put it on copy paper. Here is um, a postcard that came in the kit and um, I'm ordering right now different colors and then here is a card that came with it I'm ordering right now different colored uh, um, paper clips um, this one just doesn't match as well as everything else I have but let's just walk through so these I copied on both sides from the paper this is card stock and I just have a template for lines there is a tuck spot right here well actually a pocket and one of the postcards. I really want this to be used or to put her pictures in from the trip. Um, here is a piece of paper. I just ran a copy. Uh, this is um, Stamperia, but that is that one sheet that is not theirs. I wanted to bring a little bit of Finneman and put roses and stuff in it. <clears throat> since it's going to a girl because this really almost could have went to a guy <clears throat> so anyway and here is another uh, postcard they have 
and a pocket. It's the opposite side of this one because this right here is 12 by 12 folded in half. So then it gave you uh, the double. Here is another um, glycine bag I made and it's on both sides um, with that snippet paper. Um, of, and I just ran copies, um, printer paper, copy paper, and uh, whoa, that went too far. And made that. And here is one of the cards. Here is a pocket and um, two of the postcards. Um, here is a long slimline envelope that I use for card making. And so I really liked the colors and everything so I put paper on it and then this can be a tuck spot on this one so I left it a little open and I want them to be able to like put pictures here if she wants or even if you have to do calculations because she's using this for something else or making notes or or, or whatever um, recipes whatever she comes across um, maybe she has old uh, receipts and so that's the end of um, the first uh, signature and then here is the second one see how it can be very manly if it wanted to be but she took her husband so and I made a tuck spot with uh, postcards so and then here's another envelope this back is about the same um, I don't even know if I used, there's nothing in that one, so let me take one of these and I'll put one of these right here and um, let's see, it's a card, another um, envelope I made that's really cute and another card, I'm going to try to go through this fast. Um, I did put lace on it to uh, uh, make it softer and you can see where this is tied in here and it's in between there's two pieces of chipboard in between here um, for the signatures to be sewed in and let's see here's a couple more I turned it that way to remind myself to show you that it goes that way and see how I she can really really use this isn't that pretty right there I love that card but and then there's one more right here so um, and see this is you know I love the paper and here's the back I put um, corner pieces on here so that it would hold up and um, I didn't realize this is in the front. I don't think that should be in the front. Let me let me somehow move that maybe off to the side is better so that it doesn't mess up the very front. But I left this there because I love it so much and the reason why I made it was because and so here is that. So I hope you like it. Um, I really enjoyed it. It did take me a little bit longer. It's almost like making an album, this whole piece, if you want to know how it's the same basis of an album. But um, <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Um, and I like that it doesn't hang out. Uh, I need to move that. So, But I like it doesn't hang out. That you can, It looks like a book and then it's very surprising when you open it and then you see the dainty laces and everything. I, I enjoyed this. I really like how this turned out. Um, and so let me get off here so I can start making something else. So all my links are down below and um, I think I have to work on some of my links. They said they're not working right. So I got to go back and repost all those. So yeah, thank you so much for being here today. Um, tell me what you think and tell me, okay, you could have done something differently because I've never made a hard cover one before. I've only done um, just signatures by themselves. So yeah, I, I liked it and I really enjoy it. So, okay.
Have a blessed day, everybody. Oh, I also want to tell you, if you go to Victorian Dreams by Lee Facebook blog, and there is a link down below, and I hope that link works, um, I post free images daily. Um, very victorian -y, more or less. But, you know, there could be five or ten a day. Sometimes after researching and finding stuff, um, and making sure that they are free to use, mostly from the 1900s. Um, you know, then I have so much on my phone that I'll have to just go and get rid of a lot so that I don't have too much in my phone and, um, <clears throat> and everything. So I just wanted to let you know that. But anyway, um, and then it's always my projects are on there too. So um, it's just not just my projects. It's I'm sharing whatever I can for y'all too. So anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Um, thank you. Bye-bye.